farm life. That's what it's all about. It's much better than beach life. Oh yeah, farm life. Look at my neighbor. He went and got him an older four-wheel drive long tractor 2510, man, diesel. Look at this badass. Wow. Nice. He's collecting a bunch of uh, cedar out of the uh, woods to build him a fence. But, man, I drove up today because I had to do a bunch of maintenance out here myself. And I was checking this out, man. This is badass. Nice. He's going to need this out here with his 28 acres. Looks like it's got a new injection pump on it. This is sweet, bro. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, there's nothing like farm life. It's a lot less uh, expensive than beach life because uh, at the coast, those boats cost more than everything we've got out here. Just one damn boat. <laughs> Funny as hell, but it's the truth. Well, I had to do some maintenance myself. So the number one thing I came out here to do is scrape this road. <clears throat> it was time. The weed's starting to pop up through it. So I just attached my box blade and cleaned his up, made his a little bit longer. It stopped like right there because that's all the gravel I put in here. So I, I dragged a bunch off the top of the hill, brought it down this way and just made it a little bit longer. So anyway, what's going on, buddy? You doing all right? I made friends with the, the guineas. He's got two guineas. Actually, they had four. They ate two of them. <laughs> so uh, they come over and hang out with me all the time. Hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, yeah, farm life. <laughs> it's the only way to go. And you know what's funny? A Latino friend of mine who was actually going to buy this place over here who didn't. He couldn't, he couldn't pull off the bank financing. It took him a little bit longer than this couple here. I was out here working. He drove up in his van. He saw me up there on my roof working uh, on the roof. And uh, he stopped in. He said, yeah, he bought 28 acres right behind us over here. He spent a little bit more money. But he had forty thousand dollars in cash, no credit. He just had his, he has his own roofing company, and uh, the banker just said, "No problem. I'll just take the lien to the land. You put uh, twenty percent down. It was uh, one hundred eighty thousand. He put forty grand down, and he only financed it for five years. <laughs> he was up there. He was him and I were just sitting here talking a little while ago, and he said, "Yeah. He says I want to pay it off early." He goes, uh, also, too, he wanted to rent my excavator. And I said, well, you're going to have to rent the excavator, but you'll have to rent me, too. Okay. Uh, so that's cool. Got a bunch of friends out here now. We're all farmers or landowners or whatever. I went ahead and set my rose. It's that time, late February. But we've got so much rain. This is the first time I was able to get out here and actually set my rose. Try to, try to get something to plant out here, man. Oh, Farmer Tom. Yep, I'm the worst farmer in the world. <laughs> but I sure know how to make some pretty rows, though, don't I, boys and girls? Look at that. Look how pretty those things are. Oh, yeah. Nice, huh? Pretty. Uh, yes, farm life. The only life. Uh, it's good to get out here and do actually a, a full day's worth of work. That's right. Hope everybody's doing well. And he, uh, my Latino friend, he says, uh, hey, he goes, that's a nice bulldozer. He goes, uh, he says, does it work? And I said, sure it works. I fired it up, backed it up, raised the boob on it, the bucket opened up. He goes, damn. He goes, uh, he goes, I need that. <laughs> I says, you can rent it. <laughs> no problem. And he starts laughing. And I said, either that or you can buy it from me, and, and, and then you could just keep it on your land and, and work the hell out of it. But I broke out the, the excavator, just ran it a little bit, because everything's been sitting because of the cold, wet weather we've been having here for over a month and a half. It's just been crazy. Really crazy. 
Nice. I tell you what, that is the best investment I've ever made. This machine here is the, is the deal. Oh yeah, it's the deal. But I love my Kubota tractor too. And also too, look what up my neighbor brought up here. Oh yeah, we got we got a couple of trailers. To haul. We got a trailer here to haul some horses or some pigs or one cow. <laughs> nice. We're starting to look like a farm up here, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Getting all this equipment. Nice, a two stall. Oh yeah. Put a couple pigs and a cow in here. <laughs> Haul them back to the off-grid farm. <laughs> nice. I love the fatina on that. That is just so classic. I have no idea how old that thing is. But that's sweet. Yeah, so now we got two tractors out here. All kinds of equipment. Everything is looking good. Everything is looking good. Hey, scraped the road. Hey, it'll look a lot better. Get all the bumps and lumps out of it. Yeah. This is great. And on a business note, I went ahead and got another contract approved. That starts on March the 7th. So that's great. Plus, I power washed all freaking day yesterday. From 2 in the afternoon till 10 at night. By the time I got back to the house, it was 11.15. Got a couple hours sleep. Go went and grabbed my trailer because I left it there. That wasn't gonna, it was started raining at 10.30 last night, big time. And then just rained all night long. So I went back. Submitted another bid, it got approved, and it's another big power washing job. So yeah, things are things are things are fine. Things are looking good. I can't complain. And uh, you know, I get a lot of people ask me about you know these industrial contracts and these, these industrial jobs I get. And you know, I've had them for so long that it's really no secret. In other words, for me to go in there and, 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 and get a contract renewal, it's not that, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me. I just know all the right people to talk to. You know, I kind of grovel and beg a little bit. Oh, please, I need this job, you know. You need the, you know, the place needs, it looks filthy, blah, 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 <laughs> you know. And then they say, okay, you know, go ahead and get it, go ahead and get your invoice put together and we'll go ahead and get a PO for you. <laughs> So that's good. Always need work, man. Always need work. But I just wanted to give you an update, guys. Thanks a lot for chiming in on all the recent videos. And I'll get in more in depth with a bunch of the videos I did about the Social Security thing with the Social Security Administration. Uh, that's an ongoing process. But uh, a lot of headway has been made there. So that's cool. Got Senator Richard Burr and his team uh, is working on it, and uh, we're going to get all that straightened out. But anyway, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay good. Subscribe, thumbs up, like, share. You know, smash that bell for future notifications. And uh, love you, you know I do. And uh, you know me, I'm Tom, right here in the Off Grid Farm, loving life. That's right, farm life, the only life. A lot less expensive than beach life. But you'll never see that at the beach. <laughs> Y'all stay good. Bye.